okay so after the ps3 successfully installed the firmware you can go ahead and resume using your console but if you encounter some errors upon the installation then your ps3 must have some hardware issues or you have some issues with the usb that you are using you have to make sure that the usb you are using has no issues whatsoever and if your ps3 is not detecting the hard drive or the firmware in your storage then you just have to make sure that your storage or your usb is on the right format and your update file is on the right folder with the right file name so what could be the issues or reasons why you will have to change the hard drive of your ps3 but like if your ps3 is suffering from a constant hang up or freezing or slow down then you may have uh, to uh, change the hard drive of your ps3 but you may want uh, to uh, rebuild the database of your ps3 first and uh, we actually have a separate video how to rebuild the database of your ps3 you may want to try that first if it does not solve the, the issue of your ps3 then you may have uh, to change its hard drive and also there are some super slim model the flash model that don't come with hard drive when you buy them so you will find some ps3 model that that has a 12 gig of internal memory those ps3 don't have an internal hard drive if you have uh, those uh, flash model super slim you don't have to go through this process all you have to do is uh, just prepare the hard drive and insert it on your ps3 and your ps3 will uh, provide you some options what to do on that hard drive so this is it for our video in case you had uh, some issues or problem regarding our topic please go ahead and let me know on our comment section and i will definitely address them and if you found this video helpful please uh, do hit that like and subscribe and uh, again this is ali and see you on the next video bye bye